good evening so uh, in the last class i have discussed the uh, heat transfer and work transfer calculation for the simple systems how to calculate the heat removal process from a system and uh, how to add the heat uh, to the system so in the same way the work calculation say if it is a shaft work uh, then what is the work development if it is the stretching of the wire what is the then then what is what about the spring work how to make the calculation for the spring work so the spring work is equal to half k into x square k is nothing but the spring stiffness next one is uh, the work done is equal to uh, shaft work 2 pi nt divided by 60 so this is how we have made the calculation uh, uh, in the last class so today I am going to discuss the numerical problems on zero of a thermodynamics. Numerical problems on zero of a thermodynamics. So this is the lecture eight, and uh, uh, this content, uh, e video content is uh, developing in association with uh, APSHE, that is the Andhra Pradesh State Council of Higher Education and uh, JNTK Kakinada. This is uh, 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 now I am going to cover. Uh, the numerical problems on zero of a thermodynamics. So, uh, in the, we have covered the basic fundamentals and understanding level of the equations in zero of a thermodynamics. After then, we we need to apply the uh, different cognitive level that is uh, apply level. So, the understanding of the zero of thermodynamics concepts are over. Next one is uh, the after studying this particular uh, content, the student is expected to learn. Apply the uh, zero law of a thermodynamics uh, to solve the scales of a temperature. So whatever the basic fundamentals uh, where the student has learned from the zero law of thermodynamics, so now here the time has come to apply the that particular basic fundamentals uh, uh, connected to the zero law of a thermodynamics uh, to solve the scales of a temperature. So in this connection, uh, the first thing is uh, uh, first thing is a uh, student has to Observe the observe the temperature. That is, if it is a constant volume gas thermometer, uh, then the temperature this uh, T is equal to 273.16. That is the triple point temperature of uh, water into that is the limit. So this limit uh, and uh, it is the PT. Limit PT tends to zero. So it is nothing but a P by PT. It is nothing but P by PT for a constant volume gas thermometer. If it is a constant pressure gas thermometer, then 273.16 uh, limit uh, P T tends to zero V by VT. So this is the formula uh, student has to apply. So in this connection, now uh, entering into this particular uh, topic that is. Um, So, uh, next, uh, the International Temperature Scale, which was uh, adopted at the 7th uh, General Conference on Weights and Measures, which is uh, held in 1927. So, it was uh, not to replace the Celsius or ideal gas scales. It was not to replace the Celsius or ideal gas scales, but to provide a scale that could be easily and readily used to calibrate the scientific and industrial instruments. So there are uh, certain uh, slight refinements which has happened uh, in finding the temperature, uh, the scales of a temperature. So if it is a scale, uh, if the temperature is from 0 to 660 degrees centigrade, generally the uh, platinum resistance thermometer, a platinum resistance thermometer with a platinum wire, platinum resistance thermometer with a platinum wire whose diameter must lie in this particular range is used. And the temperature relation R is equal because for a resistance thermometer, this is the standard relation. That is the standard relation where uh, you have to observe. So this is the standard uh, relation. R is equal to R naught into 1 plus A T plus B T square. A and B are constants. So where uh, the constants R naught, A and B are computed by the measurements at the ice point, steam point and uh, sulfur point. Next, uh, for the scales, uh, that is uh, from temperature minus 190 degrees centigrade to 0 degrees centigrade, in this case, 
the resistance thermometer the same platinum resistance thermometer but here the equation is uh, like this one r is equal to r naught into 1 plus a t plus b t square plus c into t minus 100 into t cubed where r naught a b and uh, as uh, same as before but uh, c is uh, determined this c is uh, determined from the measurement at the oxygen point from the measurement at the oxygen point from 660 degrees centigrade to 1,063 degrees centigrade. In, in this type of cases, then you have to use the thermocouple. So the thermocouple has to use, so one wire of which is made of a platinum thermocouple and the other is an alloy of 90% platinum and 10% rhodium and is used with one junction to zero degrees centigrade. So the temperature is given by epsilon is equal to A plus Bt plus Ct square. So this is how the calculations have to be applied to this particular uh, for solving the numerical problem into this particular uh, site. So uh, next one is um, now we have to enter into the problems. So this is the first problem here. So in this first pro uh, problem, then uh, um, the limiting value of the the limiting value of the ratio. So here. The limiting value of the ratio of a pressure of a gas at the steam point and at the triple point of water when the gas is kept at constant volume, when the gas is kept at constant, see, observe, when the gas is kept at constant volume is found to be 1.3605. What is the ideal gas temperature of the steam point? What is the steam point that uh, you have to apply to this particular case? So here, how we are going to uh, find out this particular uh, uh, problems? Because the limiting value of the ratio of a pressure of a gas. So what is that? Uh, how you are going to find it? What is that particular formula that uh, now you can apply? So that particular formula here, which is connected to the steam point divided by the triple point. Steam point divided by the triple point that standard value is 1.36605 36605 right so now the temperature so this temperature which is nothing but equal to already uh, it is uh, made available 273.16 because what is the ideal gas temperature scale at the steam point which is mentioned here so that it is mentioned here so that uh, temperature is equal to at the triple point uh, uh, that is uh, at the triple point where the temperature is uh, 273. So this is uh, nothing but T by triple point. So that uh, this uh, triple point temperature is 273.16 and uh, already this ratio is given. So this ratio is given that it is uh, 1.36605. So we know that the T by this one is equal to PS by PT that is equal to 1.36605. Generally, how you are going to get this uh, standard value that is a uh, steam point. What is that particular steam point? The steam point is 100 degrees centigrade. Steam point is 100 degrees centigrade divided by ice point is at zero, uh, zero degrees centigrade. So that the steam point is uh, uh, now, when you convert that into uh, Kelvin, 373.16 divided by 273.16, you will get as a 1.36605. So this is the standard value. This is that is uh, the, the this particular point is the steam, and this particular point is ice. So that is equal to 100 degrees centigrade by zero degrees centigrade. That is equal to 373.16 Kelvin divided by 273.16 Kelvin, then you will get it as 1.36. So this is the standard relation uh, for solving the, this particular numerical problem. Standard, that is a T by TT is equal to PS by PT, that is equal to 1.3605. Then um, you, now you have to find out this particular temperature. What is the ideal gas temperature at the steam point? So this is the at the steam point. That is at the steam point, TS by Pt, that is the triple point temperature, is equal to Ps by Pt, that is equal to 1.36605.
I, I told you how you are going to arrive this 1.36605. So that is 373.16 divided by 273.16. That is equal to 1.366. So finally, you could be able to get the value of for temperature. So when you make the calculation, here you will get uh, that particular value as uh, 373.15 Kelvin. 373.15 Kelvin. So this is how you are going to get the problem. Hope uh, uh, this particular problem is uh, clear to you. Now coming to the next problem. So what is the next problem? So the next problem is also um, observe that observe that here the pressure the pressure in a constant volume because uh, in the earlier class we have discussed the constant volume gas thermometer. So in connection with that uh, experimental setup that is the constant volume gas thermometer the pressure in a constant volume gas thermometer is measured as a 32 mm mercury above the atmosphere at the triple point of water determine the temperature when the pressure is 76 mm of mercury of above atmospheric pressure the barometric pressure is 752 mm mercury so one has to understand that here what is the atmospheric pressure and what is the barometric pressure? What is the atmospheric pressure and what, what is the um, barometric pressure? So at the triple point, that is uh, where uh, the triple point pressure in a constant is measured as 32 mm mercury above the atmosphere at the triple point. So that triple point pressure is that is uh, 32 mm of mercury, 32 plus you know above the atmosphere see here th this is what you have to have. above the atmosphere and the barometric pressure is 752 so that it is uh, 752 32 plus 752 you will get it as a 784 mm of mercury 784 mm of mercury 84 mm of mercury then the what about the standard atmospheric pressure that atmosphere pressure is here the standard one is 76 76 mm, uh, 76 uh, 7 uh, i think it is uh, 76 centimeters so this is a 32 centimeter 32 or uh, if you are considering this one you try to observe this one so 76 uh, yes so all are in mm so that is here, it is given as 76 mm only. So we'll try to consider it as 76 mm plus another one is 752. So it is around, you will get it as a 828, 828 mm of mercury, 828 mm of mercury. Then what about the temperature here? That temperature is equal to 273.16. And the limit, Tends, that is in the last class uh, we have discussed that is uh, pt tends to zero and uh, this is nothing but the p by pt so that is uh, p by triple point pressure so p by pt so when you make this calculation that is a uh, 273.1 say p it is 828 divided by 784 784. So you will get it as a 288, 288.5 Kelvin, 288.5 Kelvin. So this is uh, the answer for this particular uh, problem, right? This is, uh, so uh, here uh, we know the standard uh, formula and you have to apply that what is mean by P and uh, this is the atmospheric pressure that is 76 uh, because all the things are in uh, given as a mm. So you have to use a 32 plus 752 and this is the barometric pressure. So the atmospheric pressure plus barometric pressure, 752. 
So the 32 plus 752 at the triple point is, and uh, at the standard it is 76 plus 7, you will get it as 828. So finally, it is a 273.16 limit PT tends to 0, P by PT. That is equal to 273.16. P is a 828, this one. And uh, PT is 784, you will get it as 288.5. So this is how you have to solve the numerical problems for this particular constant volume gas thermometer. Constant volume gas thermometer. So come to the next uh, problem. So this is the, you have to solve this particular problem. You have to solve this particular problem. And uh, the same uh, variety of a problem. Uh, now I'm going to discuss uh, the, this one. So here, you try to observe this one. So uh, the question number four here, the temperature scale, so solving the different temperature, the temperature scale of a certain thermometer is given by the relation T is equal to A ln P plus B, where A and B are constants and P is the thermometric property of the fluid, thermometric property of the fluid in the thermometer. If at the ice point and uh, the steam point, the thermometric property, see observe this one, the thermometric property it is at the ice point and it, this is at the steam point respectively. What will be the what will be the temperature corresponding to the thermometric property of 3.5 on Celsius scale? How we are going to solve this particular case? First thing is uh, this is the relation. Uh, now you have to take up. That is the relation. So that is the relation. Uh, it is uh, to be considered. So that is the T is equal to, it is a, a ln T plus B. So ice, at the ice point, uh, here the value is 0 degree centigrade. 0 is equal to A ln, what is the thermometer property? It is 1.5. It is 1.5 plus B. At the ice, so this is at the ice point and at the steam point at the steam point that is 100 degree centigrade is equal to a ln what about the thermometry property for this case that is the steam point it is 7.5 so by ta take your calculator so this is the one this is the two this is the two now if uh, if you do two minus one if you do 2 minus 1, then what you will get? You will get the value. So uh, that is uh, this uh, 2 minus 1 and this one, this one is going to be cancelling. So finally, you will get the value. That is uh, ln. In the calculator, you, you can observe that there is a ln symbol is there. So you have to press that ln 7.5. Right? So you, you will get that particular A value here. Yeah. So that is the 62. Point, uh, 1, 1, 2 constant. Uh, that is, uh, after getting the A value, then you can substitute either in 1 or a, 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 2. So you can substitute this uh, A value in this case. Say, suppose if you are uh, taking that in this particular case, 0 is equal to A is 62.112 ln 1.5 plus B. So you will get that particular B value as minus 25.18 so you will get the b values minus after getting this one then after getting the a and b values now you need to you need to substitute the a value and b value in this particular equation so when you use that particular t is equal to what is the a value that a value is 62.112 ln what is the thermometry property here it is 3.5 plus that is a plus b means it is the 
25.18. So what is the temperature you are going to get? The temperature is, so after solving this one, you will get it as 52.63 degrees centigrade. So this is how the temperature scale, applying the zero law of thermodynamics to solve the different temperature scale. Hope uh, uh, this particular problem is uh, clear. So that, that is, uh, this is the uh, way of calculating the problem. So all you should have to observe this particular procedure and try to take the calculator and solve the different uh, numerical problems uh, after observing this particular uh, uh, video lectures. After observing this particular video lecture. Next one is, uh, the next problem is, uh, the because for a thermocouple, uh, when the temperatures uh, range is 660 degrees centigrade to above 1000 degrees centigrade, in that instances, then you have to use the, uh, then you have to use the uh, thermocouple uh, cases. So the EMF, when the temperature range is 660 to above 1000 degrees centigrade, in that instances, then you have to use the thermocouple uh, uh, temperature scale. So EMF in a thermocouple with a test junction at T degree centigrade on a gas thermometer scale and a reference junction at ice point is given as so 0.20 into T minus 5 into 10 to the power of minus 4 T square millivolt. So that is the millivolt is given. The millivolt meter is calibrated here also that millivolt meter is also calibrated at the ice and steam point. What will this thermometer what will this thermometer read in a place where the gas thermometer reads 50 degree centigrade where the gas thermometer reads 50 degree centigrade so applying this one so here also the steam point what about the uh, ice point so ice point um, so in this relation so using this relation ice point is uh, zero that zero is equal to point and here when t uh, t is equal to 0 so this is all going to become 0 so that means uh, this is 0 now at uh, 100 degree centigrade at 100 that is at the steam point and this can be calculated so this can be calculated as this one that is uh, this is uh, nothing but the temperature this is nothing but temperature so after calculating this one then you will get it as a 15 millivolt but uh, you need to find out what will this uh, thermometer read in a place where the gas thermometer reads 50 degree centigrade. When the gas thermometer reads 50 degree centigrade, then what about this thermocouple is going to record? So that is what you have to observe. So uh, epsilon is equal to 0.20 into 50, into 50, this is the minus 5 into 10 to the power of 4 because here minus 5 into 10 to the power of minus 4 into 50 square you will get as 8.75 millivolt but uh, when the gas thermometer reads 50 degree centigrade the thermocouple is going to read or the, you will get the thermocouple uh, value reading as that is um, the 100 that is 100 uh, divisions are there in between ice and steam point 100 and uh, at the steam point uh, this is uh, so divided by 15 but what about this uh, at 50 degree centigrade uh, uh, the gas thermometer is going to record it is going to record 8.75 millivolt so finally you will get it as a 58.33 that means the gas thermometer is going to record 50 degree centigrade in connection with that one the thermocouple is going to record 58.33 so this is how the connection between the uh, gas thermometer scale and the thermocouple scale. Hope uh, uh, this particular problem is uh, clear. Next, after then, and the, we will go for the another problem. That is uh, the another problem is here it is given in such a way that a new scale, uh, a new scale. So here a new scale n of a temperature is divided. 
n of a temperature is divided in such a way that the freezing point of a ice so again uh, you have to observe that the uh, again you have to observe that the uh, freezing point of ice is 100 degree n and the boiling point is uh, 400 degree n what is the temperature reading on this uh, new scale on this uh, new scale when the temperature is 150 degree centigrade when the temperature is 150 degree centigrade at what temperature both uh, the celsius and the new temperature scale reading would be the same would be the same this is also one of the important uh, condition that you have to observe so there are two scales are there that is uh, this scale and the another scale is uh, this one another scale is this one right so if you uh, divide that uh, if you divide that in uh, three ways that is uh, in this way so one is uh, nothing but the degree centigrade here see here what, what are that degree centigrade values? So it is given as a 150. That is uh, the new scale when the temperature is 150. So 150 and the steam point is 100 and the ice point is 0 degree centigrade. But what about the new temperature uh, that is uh, here, n value. So on this particular side, that uh, n point and this you have to make the calculation. And here, this is going to show the 400 at a steam point, and at the uh, ice point, it is going to see the 100. At the ice point, it is 100 degree N. It is 100 degree N. Right? So, this is how the problem is uh, given. So, how you are going to solve this particular uh, numerical problem? So, first thing is that uh, considering separately the degree centigrade scale and the new scale that is the degree n so this type of a problem so where uh, you could uh, find in such a way that first thing is uh, here the requirement that is 150 minus uh, that is uh, the value the temperature here this is the required temperature or find out the temperature minus ice point divided by the steam point it is 100 minus ice point is equal to in this uh, uh, degree centigrade that is nothing but equal to here uh, the n it is what you have to find that n and what about the at the ice point it is 100 see this one 100 divided by steam point that is 400 minus 100 then you can get the this uh, n value from this particular case is 550 degree n 550 degree n so now you have got this particular answer then uh, what about the other case here then uh, the other side is that you, you know, here uh, what you have to consider that here uh, something that is uh, this uh, degree n is nothing but equal to this uh, degree n is nothing but equal to that degree centigrade c so for a thermometry property as x for a thermometry property as x degree so when it is connected to this degree centigrade that is here so what what this degree centigrade now you you have to find out this degree centigrade minus ice point 